Hello, this is Professor Hazari. I would like to welcome you to the business research course for summer three session. And the purpose of this video is to show you where items in the course are located. I understand different faculty members at the university have uh, set up their courses differently. So it would be best if you spend about um, uh, 10 to 15 minutes watching this video. Uh, so that you can access information easily to complete the readings and the assignment. So I have gone ahead and logged into the course. And once you log in, this will be the home screen that you see. On the top left is the home button. If you click on this, it'll take you to all the courses that uh, you're registered for. Then uh, going over to the right side, you have uh, an email icon. Uh, if you get a new email, you will see a red dot appear over here. Uh, then this is the discussions icon. So if someone posts a new discussion and you're subscribed to it, uh, you will again see a notification here. And this is for announcements. Any announcements that I post, and there will be quite a few announcements during the semester, it'll uh, warn you or it'll indicate that uh, you need to read that uh, uh, announcement. Uh, and uh, if you scroll down on the left side over here is the announcement page. So the first announcement that uh, you will probably see when you log into the first day of class is information that June 2nd is the first official day of class. And then uh, there's some additional information saying that you need to re review information under content and the discussion area. I'm going to show you that. and. Um, uh, it also tells you that uh, the syllabus is located in the content area. It shows you how to send an email from within course then. And um, it cautions you that the book is required. So without having the book, uh, you will be unable to get a high score in this course because uh, the textbook page numbers need to be cited in the discussions and the assignments. Then on the right side, you have a calendar which will give you dates when the assignment uh, is due. Now, a note of caution, the calendar is not comprehensive. So what that means is it will show you just the opening date and the closing date, but it may not show you the intermediate dates. For example, a discussion assignment has two types of posts. One is a main post, which is the very first post that you make and then a response post where you can respond to one or more students. So the, uh, the calendar will let you know when the discussion is open and when it closes. But in our course, we do have the first day assigned for the main post and the second day is for uh, response post. The main post has to be posted by the end of the first day. So the calendar will not tell you that. So it is best if you uh, look at the syllabus or look at the assignment instructions and enter that information in your smartphone calendar. Uh, in that way, you can be sure that the assignment that you're turning in is on time. So that was the announcements and then the uh, calendar dates on the right side. Now, Going into the course, the first important section is the content. So I'm going to click on the content area. And the course has been divided into uh, the main course documents. Then we have three weeks in the course. The first week runs June 2nd through the 7th. The second week runs June 10th to the 14th, where we will be doing a program called uh, Qualtrics. And then we have the third week, which is mostly, uh, it's actually half a week because the final exam is scheduled for um, that third week. So let me click on course documents. And this number five tells you that there are five documents in course documents. So the first one, uh, first main important document is the syllabus. So when you click on this, it will open up the syllabus in a new tab. I have already done this. So this is what the syllabus is going to look like. I would strongly encourage that you read through the syllabus at least once. The syllabus gives you information on uh, contact information, uh, the textbook that is required, 
and which is this one and it is available from the bookstore or you can buy it from an online store such as Amazon but a textbook is required uh, what I would like you to do next is uh, click on this link and um, log in with your username and password please do not wait till week two because if there's any problem then we can make sure to get it fixed before week two starts so this is a program like survey monkey where you will be designing surveys but we will go more than that we will be analyzing data using qualtrics and then in this course there are quite a few microsoft excel assignments assign the office 365 is available uh, from the university at no charge and Excel is part of uh, Microsoft Office so go ahead and download that and make sure that your Excel is working then you have course objectives course policies and um, a new section that I've added is um, the use of chat GPT and other AI tools now what I would uh, uh, inform you is please do not copy word for word any information from chat gpt uh, because that is considered to be a violation of the ac academic honor code and it will get you in trouble so just a note of caution that make sure that you are doing your own original work and if you are using any ai tools make sure to cite it properly and i've given you a link that shows you how to cite the information then you have information about uh, incomplete policies, special needs, and uh, then you have information about uh, late policies. Now this is a very fast paced course and um, you will notice that uh, there are assignments due pretty much every day. So again, if you are taking other courses, if you have work obligations, this is not the best time to take the course. The same course is offered during fall semester. So I would uh, suggest that you rethink uh, whether you would have time to complete the assignments because as I was saying, uh, there is assignments due pretty much every day. Uh, then you have information about who to contact if you get locked out or if you need help with technology. The course itself has uh, several assignments. The first section is the chapter discussions where you have the main post and the response post. And then you have the next set of assignments which is projects. So I mentioned Qualtrics. So that is uh, some projects that you, we will be doing in Qualtrics. And then we have three online open book tests. Uh, you are free to use any materials that you want and the dates are given in the calendar and also towards the end of the syllabus. So your total course points is 435 and I'm assuming that everyone in this class is looking for an A. So you need to score between 391 and 435 to get an A which is 90% and above. And then it gives you some information about online learning. The next two or three pages are important because this is the course schedule that you will follow. I've given you the entire course schedule for the term and also I have opened the course so all the assignments are available through the very last day. But the problem is the discussion board and the project assignments are on a timer. So feel free to complete the assignments early if you can but you will have to wait until the assignment becomes available to post your assignment uh, if you can just keep up that'll be fine but if you want to work ahead again that's also okay now we have three tests so the first test is scheduled for monday june 10th the second one is monday june 17th and test number three which is the final exam is on wednesday june 26th so please mark those three important dates in your smartphone so that was a quick look at the syllabus let's um, return back to the course so now we have uh, the second link is a video as to why business research is important the third link is this video that you're watching if you want to watch it at a later time you can click on this all the chapters in the textbook have powerpoint slides and those slides are given to you in one single zip file go ahead download it unzip it and um, uh, what I would suggest is based on comments from previous students use those PowerPoint files as 
a study guide for the test. Now, they are not a replacement for the textbook which you will be using to complete the assignments. But as a study guide for the test, they will work very well. Uh, the writing that you will be doing in this course is in the format uh, APA 7. Download this single page PDF file that shows you how to uh, cite uh, journal articles, trade publications, books, conference papers, uh, so that um, your formatting is correct to be eligible for the highest score. Then we have a 22-12 rule discussion. I would let I will let you read through this. What that means is, uh, when uh, doing discussion posts or project assignments, if there is any writing involved, uh, make sure that you are doing short paragraphs and a blank line between paragraph, which makes it easy to read. For the discussion posts, I've given you sample post and main response post from students who have taken uh, this class in the past. You will need to provide details. You will need to provide research if you're looking for the highest score. Where do you find that information? You will find that information in two places. One is called Galileo, which is the university database library. And then the other one is scholar.google.com, which is different from google.com. So go ahead and click on this link. There is a tutorial on how to use um, the Galileo databases to access research article. Now, the uh, link over here is uh, will take you to an uh, image that explains to you what are the four P's of marketing. If you've taken any marketing class before, you should be familiar with that. But if you're not, there is a reference image which you will download. And please try to use this in every assignment because it forms the basis of discussions and projects. So when you talk about the marketing mix, you are referring to the four P's of marketing, which you will reference in your discussion post. So that was course documents where all the general uh, documents about the course policies and so on are placed. Now let's look at the content and I'm going to go through the very first exercise. So when you click on the very first link, it'll open up because there are nine items under week one. Each week, so week one and week two, we have a project that runs the entire week. So this Excel weekly project starts on a Monday and is actually due on a Friday, June 7th. Okay, and work on it at your own pace. So uh, when you click on this, you will see the project instructions. You have to download a file when you're ready to submit it on June 7th or before. Uh, go ahead and click here and then you can submit it. So that's your weekly discussion for June 2 to 7. Then we have daily discussions. So for Sunday and Monday, if I click on it, it tells you that you're to post an introduction and that's just a warm up exercise. It is not graded. And then you are expected to also enter a research article over here. And when you click on this uh, assignment instructions, it tells you what the research article is going to be about. And that's what I was saying. It will be using portions of the textbook. So make sure you have your textbook available when you do this assignment. So all the other days are similarly laid out. You have instructions as the first link. And then when you're ready to do your post, you will click on this and um, you will then enter your post. Again, as I was saying, it's on a timer, so you will have to wait until June 4th for this discussion to be open. Uh, the same thing with the uh, June 6th and June 7th assignment. And at the end of the week, I've also given you a bonus points assignment. If you are not interested, that's fine, but this is worth 10 points. So it'll just add to your score. So if you're between an A and a B, and if you've completed two bonus assignments in the course, then you should be able to see your grade bump up to the next higher grade. So I would encourage you to not only do this assignment for the bonus points, but to actually learn Excel because Excel is a very powerful tool for business and marketing research. So that was week one. Similarly, week two is laid out the same way. And uh, um, for taking the test, you will locate this information over here and click on test number one. And it, like it says, it starts June 10th. So that was content. Next is communication. The 
only important uh, item in uh, communication is how to send email uh, to me or to any other student in class. All emails must be sent from within course then. So what you will do is to send an email, you go commu communication, class list. Then over here, you click on instructors and TAs and you will see my name listed. Click on it. It'll open up a window and then you will send an email. Feel free to change the subject line to something more descri uh, descriptive. And if you want to attach a file, if you scroll all the way down, there's an upload button where you can upload the file. And uh, then you can send it. And when you send it, as I was saying that on top, on my end, I will see this light up. So this means there's a message. I click on it and then I can reply uh, to any queries or questions that you may have asked. So that's communication. Uh, we do not use groups. We do not use collaborate. Um, discussions. Uh, th this is actually there's two places to access discussion one as I showed you is in content but if you click on discussions you will see the discussions for the entire term okay so this is all the discussions that we will be doing through the end of the semester uh, one general area for discussion questions not graded if you have any questions if you want to share any resources then click on post general questions here and then you can start a new thread to enter the information. So in the past, students have found this to be very useful to ask a question. But again, if you have a specific question for me, uh, it's communication class list and click on my name. Then you have assessments. And over here, you can go under assignments. And you will see that you can submit the projects over here. But uh, what th this one also does is it um, um, lets you see a list of all the items, uh, all the projects that are due in the course. So that's your assessments. And once again, uh, the same link is available to you in content. So I try to duplicate the, the uh, link so that you don't miss it and try looking for it in uh, another place when it's easily available in content. So that's your assignments, er assignments area, discussion, quizzes, and uh, we will not use these others. The gradebook can be accessed from grades. So you will see when, you, when grades are populated, uh, you will see the grades entered over here and towards the very end, you will see your uh, running total including bonus points for the Excel assignments. And um, then you can uh, go ahead and calculate your score and compare it to the table, uh, which is given to you in the syllabus. So this is the grading table that you're looking for to be able to uh, determine what your score is at the end of the semester. So keep an eye on the grade book as the grades get populated, you should be able to track your progress. So that was the communication and that's pretty much it. Uh, there are resources which are um, writing center if you need assistance with formatting research papers, APA format, that's the writing center. The Galileo link was under content course documents. You can also click over here and then there's other centers uh, which you can access from uh, this um, area we under resources and um, uh, the uh, different options that are available under resources. So that is pretty much what course then looks like. And um, if you have any questions beyond what is covered in the video, feel free to contact me. Again, communication, class list, and click on my name. So I look forward to seeing you online first day of class.